Okay guys, so it's Max from Mad Tech Max, and as you can see it's a bit messy behind me and that is because we are going to install this thing I made. I made it at the weekend, I've mentioned it, it is the thing that will hold the 12 volt solar box which is on top of my computer and then the computer will go on top, hopefully. I hope it will go across the 12 volt solar box, um, which if you haven't seen the video I made about that, go check that out up in this corner and then I've got this bit of wood to go across screw into the back of that and screw into the back of this cabinet and then I can hide all the cables behind it so yeah let's get on with this it's just going to be time lapse videos uh, until I get to cable management I might mention a bit but yeah so let's start this <laughs> Yesterday it took me about two to three hours to do everything completely and I've just touched up on a little bit uh, today as well and probably after this video as well and later on, you know, just making it all perfect. But basically, as you can see, the cabinet that I built is here and this is probably the worst bit of the cables, so they just go down there. So you've got this cable which goes into the USB hub uh, which is this bit here. The charger for this camera uh, is just plugged into one of these but you can plug in any. There's also four here. And as you can see there's lots of space back here so like I've got the old battery, the solar panel and the cables. I'll show you all that in a minute. Plus the little board up here or big board. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's in the shot. And I screwed the amp so I'll show you all that now. So here is the desk. Uh, I did my best at the top. Well I didn't do my best. I haven't really attempted the top at the moment. There's a couple of cables there, but they're tied down at the back of the thing on its stand. And then these ones aren't tied down, but they just held behind a little cable tack. And this is the VGA cable going to this. So we've got three multiways. I've got one behind this cabinet, but one there uh, in the middle of the board under there. As you can see, it's very neat under there. Um, and then I've got one screwed to the back of this cabinet. So, I've got power all round. For the amp, I had to, had to change it a bit, just to make it easier to use. So before I had this blue cable, uh, with the phono cables on, these red and white, um, they, just, they just still go to the computer. So they're just plugged into the computer all the time. Um, and it was a bit annoying, if you wanted to change it then you'd have to go around the back of the computer and unplug it just to use the amp. So I have a spare cable, which is this cable up here. Uh, and that you can plug in the laptop or any phones to play music and all sorts. So I also have my little light here. Uh, it's a bit fiddly, there you go. Then you got headphones up there. I do need a stand for those headphones so they can just like sit down here. Desk organizers there. Then I've obviously got the speakers on the side, left and right. Then here is the remote for the LEDs, which I'm going to put on the side again. Like I've already mentioned, the amp is there. These are just the drawers. So, down here, moving along a bit. So I do have a card reader up here that does all sorts, but on the front, which is all I need, uh, has SD and micro SD. I have a micro USB here, 
it's just a nice short one so you can plug in like your phone or anything to offload some data uh, also up there in the USB is the receiver for the wireless mouse and keyboard so all the computer cables are there they just go straight out so it's not that messy apart from the Wi-Fi antenna cable which goes round here and then back here parts of this isn't the neatest they are all twist tied together this one so they've all got a twist tie so to keep it nice and tidy this is the extra plug the spare plug I was on about and then this plug goes to the multi-way uh, which I'll show you in a minute this is my LED light and this is the computer so going into this hole that you can see there is the 12 volt plug that goes to the USBs uh, near my bed and also the solar charging uh, input for the 12 volt solar then all the computer cables go in there so if you look over here it's all tied down using these bits and it just makes it look a little bit neater the reason I've used two here is because if I bunch them all up it just comes off because it's too heavy this little bunch is for the LEDs which are up here so we've got the two monitors, the LED and then the next multi-way here also I have the power supply for one of the monitors and then also the power supply for the amp and then over here it's a little less hectic but it's also um, a little messier in a way this is the sign up there that I turned on earlier and then this is the LED up near my bed, the LED IKEA strip uh, this plug here is the power supply plug for the amp and then this is like I said for the sign and then you, you've also got a spare plug there it's the tidiest my desk has been in a very 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 long time and I know it looks a bit messy from behind there but when you look from here you can see a couple of cables but even when you're just sitting like I am sitting on the floor now and I can see this that's exactly what I can see so no cables visible at all but you can just about see the green glow and obviously you can see up there then you've got the purple lights behind them two monitors so it's loads more practical than it was before because you've got all the cables accessible like I said you can just switch over the cables for the amp so you can play music through there play music through YouTube on my computer so they're the LEDs up there that I mentioned earlier so if you just go up here then there's a switch here and you can just switch it on I did put some sound dampening up the other day just in the corners Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. But basically for the cable management I just use these sticky, sticky things, then stick a twist tie through. So I just put a piece of wood across the back because it doesn't have any way of cable managing. Screwed it to the two things, really simple. Screw some multi-ways on. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.